This video will help you to display answers in your preferred format. You will find the key steps on the screen and I will demonstrate this live. Very large numbers can be hard to read. The FX83 and FX85 GTCW calculators insert a space between groups of three digits in the integer part by default, as you can see on the screen. However, for the FX991CW calculator, you need to change the setting to see the spaces. I'll switch calculators to show you. I just press the calculator selection model on the toolbar below the emulator and then select my model. We choose calculate and enter our number 1234567. Eight, nine. As you can see, the groups of digits are not with a space in the integer part. All number settings are in the settings key under calc settings. Scroll down one screen using page scroll. Now choose digit separator. Turn this on by pressing OK and notice that the selection circle is now filled. Return to the app by pressing the back key three times and press the execute key to re-enter the number. The digits are now separated. You can choose between decimal and fraction display for your preference. Return to calc settings by pressing settings and calc settings and choose input output by pressing OK. On the top line, Math I, Math O displays answers as fractions or square roots. This is the default setting when you reset the calculator. Scroll down one line and Math I, Math o, Decimal O displays answers as decimals. Choose this by pressing OK and notice again that the selection circle is filled. Return to the app by pressing the back key as before enough times. Now enter a calculation, perhaps 2.3 plus 1.8. The answer is given as a decimal rather than as a fraction. We will now look at standard form. Enter a new calculation, 56 divided by 10,000. The answer is displayed in standard form because it is very small. You can choose to display these very small numbers as full decimals. Return to the calculator by pressing settings and calc settings and choose number format. Norm is the normal display, so scroll down and choose it by pressing OK. There are two choices. Norm 1 displays very small numbers less than one hundredth in standard form, which is why our answer was displayed like this. However, norm 2 displays very small numbers less than one billionth, that is one over one thousand million, in decimal form. So let's choose norm 2 by scrolling down and pressing OK. Return to the calculator as before by pressing the back key and re-enter the calculation by pressing the execute key. The answer is now displayed as a normal decimal. Norm 1 is the default setting on the FX991CW. You may find it useful to change this to Norm 2. However, on the FX83 and the FX85 GTCW, the default is Norm 2 already. I'll change calculators to show you this using the emulator toolbar as before. First, I'll set the output to decimals. Choose Calculate, Settings, Calc Settings, Input Output, and choose Math I Decimal O. Return to the Calculator app. Enter our calculation as before, 56 divided by 10,000. And the answer is displayed as a normal decimal by default. There are two other decimal formats available. Fixed decimal places will display the answer to your choice of decimal places. 
Return to number format, settings, count settings, scroll down, number format, and choose fix. Choose the number of decimal places you want, for example, three decimal places. Return to the calculator app as before. Re-enter the calculation and the answer is rounded to three decimal places. However, the answer is still held inside the calculator to its full accuracy. If I multiply by 10,000, the answer is 56 rather than 60. Notice that the calculator displays fix on the indicator line at the top when the display is in fixed decimal places. You must remember that your display is in fixed decimal place mode when you're calculating in case you need more accuracy. You can also use standard form. Return to number format in the same way. And this time scroll down to Psi. The calculator calls standard form scientific form. Select it by choosing OK and choose the number of significant digits that you want, for example, three. Notice that the selection circle is filled. Return to the Calculate app and re-enter your calculation, 56 divided by 10,000. The answer is displayed in standard form. On the top indicator line, the calculator displays Psi when the display is in standard form. You can remove fixed decimals or index form by setting Norm 2 or Norm 1 as before or by resetting the calculator. So your calculator can display numbers in several different forms. You can choose between fractions and decimals. Decimals can be in normal, fixed decimal places or standard form. Explore the calculator to choose what you find best. You can also format numbers even if you haven't changed the settings. Watch our video on using the format key on how to do this.